So we're going to be going back, looking through Magnum, like I said. One of the big things Tony complains about is his steering. So with his steering, he's developed a lot of play, so some things are worn out. Right off the bat is when, so when he steers, he steers this bar forward and it turns this bar back and forth. All right, so with the heim joints though, it creates a lot of, I don't know if you see that, it's pushing the tie rod down because it has movement in the heim joints. So we're gonna put some rubber in there and get rid of that. And then the other thing is inside here, there's play, all right? So one of the issues is this little spacer guy has a piece worn in. So I'm gonna lay a little bit of beat weld on there and throw that in the lathe. And then as well as this inside guy has a spacer in the inside and that's a little worn out. All right, so I pulled out the inner steering arm. Now this was the original plate and uh, I added on obviously this part. Now, original bushing inside this hole so that you can clamp down this plate but not actually keep the plate from actually moving. So this is just a bushing. Well, it exploded on me into four pieces as soon as I pulled it out. And with this little bushing that stays in the inside of this run to keep the plate from getting any more play, has that little run in it. So we're gonna fix that now. And uh, hopefully that should fix a lot of the uh, play along with the rubber in the tie rod. So that's decent. Always nice to, uh, when you have a problem, you can find a solution or uh, find at least your problem and then come up with a solution. Okay, so we're tightening up Tony's steering here on Magnum um, because it's got some slop in it and uh, that just happens over time um, because we're riding them so hard, the abuse, whatever it is. Anyways, we found out that one way we can reduce it is with our heim joints here with the steering setup. So this is the tie rod in between the two spindles. And we have a cross linkage arm that sits under here. So this pivots back and forth. Because so I built this little fancy jig like I was showing you guys to move it side to side. So we have that bar, the side to side bar, the steering bar hook up right here. And when that's doing that, it actually like, when you turn to the right, it pulls it down because the heim joint allows it to move because I had little heim joint offset spacers. So I took those out. I got some smaller bolts and we're gonna put that out on and we'll have less of that up and down side to side movement, which should get rid of a lot of the play. We might add a little rubber O-ring into there too to stiffen that up, but we'll see how this goes first. We'll get that in there and then show you guys. All right, so with Magnum here, got the rear end back under along with a fresh coat of paint. Since some of that rust was starting to come through. Yeah, well, we're gonna paint there just we keep having to do stuff, modern stuff, change and stuff. So we waited till what we think is the perfect setup to paint it. So, paint it. <laughs> yep. All right, so now that we got the rear diff back in, uh, it's time to go over the front. Now, once you kind of have an issue with something, it's always just easier to just fix all your other issues they have. This isn't a huge issue, but it's something I'm just always wanting to uh, fix. And then uh, we found out that it made it into more of an issue. So I'll go over that here. All right, so Tony has a very uh, complicated steering system because it uses few different points of uh, contact to make the steering. As the steering gears in there, that turns a big semicircle gear that turns this rod, that turns this shaft, that turns on, that guy to move that back and forth. Obviously that's a lot. So I'm gonna run this because like I did build this and it does work. It's just that, I don't know if you guys can tell, here maybe at this angle, the frame right here is actually starting to bend. So because uh, we tightened everything up and it's working the best it has, it's actually causing when you put steering pressure on this, this bottom side of the rail here, this all this whole side of the rails actually trying to pull in. You can actually see it flex in and out. So I'm gonna be putting a piece of angle iron in the inside of the frame there, on the, on the inside of the frame, and uh, strengthen that all up, bend this out nice, and then that should be all cured. And then we're just gonna go over putting some, a uh, couple of aluminum spacers in over it, but they're just little shims that are gonna make everything tight up in the front end. Then I'm also gonna be running, I had this originally, I'm gonna keep this on here, but to uh, add more strength, I'm gonna actually add a piece of angle iron on top of all this. So that'll be a nice solid front end for Tony. Then he can really uh, put the weight of the mower on it. Cause when you see us three wheel in there, you have to think about it. 
with only one part of contact to the frame, we act like that puts a lot of stress on one little spot. So we have to make those pretty strong, but regardless of what we do, they tend to wear out. So you just have to constantly be upgrading and fixing. And that's what we do. We're trying to find the best method. Sooner or later, one day we'll actually get rid of the uh, center articulation spot and do like a four link setup. But that's just a lot of work for an individual mower right now. But we'll get there soon. Stay with us. Um, yeah, I don't know. I think you guys like what we're doing. We sure like what we're doing. We're sure having a fun time doing it. All right, so a little more prep. The Tony's mower Magnum here. Which also has Vivid Lumen LED headlights, which are stupid bright. Along with his light bar there, Tony's got way too much light. Anyways, last video. Tony's mower was climbing some steep stuff. The winch line popped off. Well, it's time to put some D-links on. So... Got a couple D-links. I just made up a couple of these brackets. Nice little units. All right, so those we get put on like that. So you'll see in a minute here what they look like once I uh, grind down the bumper and weld them on. But pretty dope looking brackets. Should look pretty sweet on the front of Magnum. Let's get them on. Let's get them mowing. Damn. So painted the shackles red and the bumper black again. Super sweet, they look awesome. I was able to get some nice beads on there on the backside. You can't even tell if it's the paint, but whatever. I think that looks so weak. So, don't have to worry about Tony for hooking up anymore. Now he's got a big grab handle and freaking strap shackles or clevises or whatever you want to call them, D-links. Unreal, let's go mowing.